Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today is Tuesday. It's February the 7th, 2012. Got a couple of charts I want to look at today. We told you, I think it was last week sometime, that we expected a pullback in gold and silver. Um, was a buy at the same time. We'll show you in a minute. Uh, the way we expect that this pullback is not the you know the start of the end as some people have uh, suggested uh, it's because of this top form here when you see this candlestick formation it's not uh, a bearish candlestick you're not getting a shooting star formation or something of that nature telling you that there's some major sell pressure there you're you're quite possible when we have a situation like that and you get a pullback you will at least test that high again uh, so it's important to know you also notice that this pullback here all it did was brought you down to a trend line that you had based on this low point here and this low point here you draw this trend line out you can see that that's what we jumped bounced off of we're finding support right there and reversing back to the upside here so it looks like the end of the sell sell off in uh, gold uh, so look for it to continue to move higher over here you'll see that when you ran up here you got this shooting star formation there uh, when you get those then that's telling you there's some uh, resistance there and and you know you got to deal with that and if you can't break through it well then this kind of thing happens in this case we ran up here and we don't form a candlestick like that we don't have any problem at all up there at that level and we break out with a higher close than we had over here so now a little pull back here is is fine but uh, it's actually a buying opportunity not a selling opportunity Looking at other issues in the world that may uh, affect it, uh, I'm still focused on what's going on over there in Europe. If you had a Greece default or something like that, uh, gold would actually get a benefit out of that, not a, a negative uh, swing out of that. So that's something else to think about. Uh, people would, you know, fly to uh, gold from their uh, weaker currencies and things like that nature. So it would it would make sense in that perspective. I don't feel as concerned owning gold or silver uh, if you had a, a Europe default of some kind. Okay, silver is the chart that we chose to be more bullish on and actually uh, gave a buy signal right there. And with a stop right off this low here, you'll notice we pulled back down near it, but we did not break through, which means you did not have a series of lower lows. So you still have a series of higher lows, which means the uptrend is still in effect, still intact and moving higher as of today. Uh, I'd be a buyer here. I don't, I don't see a problem with that as long as you keep a tight stop where we've already placed it. Uh, you may even advance it to 32.98 if you wanted to. Um, but in any event, that's where I'd keep my, my stop for now and be looking for uh, gold and silver to both press higher. If you've not been to our free website at perfectstockalert.com, it's right there. It's 100% free. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. God bless, take care, and I will see you tomorrow. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit loss or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.